I'm primarily self-taught. I took some, um, you know, some classes. I took like a few different things from people that I really admire that um, kind of just got my mindset wrapped around how to go about, you know, getting my work out. There's a woman named Aline Smithson and uh, she's, she's absolutely wonderful. And, you know, even just a few years ago, I took a seminar with her and she's just, I think to have somebody that believes in you and, and just says like, yeah, you know, you're good, you, you know, just um, gives you a little bit of guidance is really all people need, I think. Before I met her, I was very much doing things on my own and just figuring out, okay, you know, which galleries are out there and, and what's happening. Because not coming from a background with, you know, an education in, in the area, um, I was just kind of figuring things out. And she really, she's the kind of person that will help you by just telling you, okay, here's, you know, things that during the years were successful and, or weren't successful. And she's just very real about everything. And she, her love for photographers are absolutely it's, it's absolutely incredible. Like she just genuinely wants to see people do well and succeed. Other than that, I really just started doing it and learning through experience and experimentation and seeing where I was going with it. I uh, really started taking fine art photography seriously about seven years ago. I took a photograph of my niece and it was like, she became my muse. We just started um, doing this creative um, process together where she would let me paint her and just do like crazy stuff. Um, and that was great for me because there's nothing like a child that's like, yeah, anything you wanna do, let's, let's just try it. So. Um, there was that, and then I started photographing other family members, but kind of in a dark way, um, just my own interpretation. And um, it, it started going really well, like right off the bat. I always from day one loved to photograph people. That was always my thing. I remember walking with friends and they would always stop to photograph flowers or nature and mountains, and I would just always catch moments. You know, I love introspective moments with people or just them passing by. I'm always watching people and I always want to get to know who they are, always. When I like to photograph someone, I, I try to get the essence of who they are, no matter uh, whether they're taking on a character or a role. I like to have them come through in a way because I think the person who comes and looks at the work will identify with that. No matter what they're looking at, they, they see something that they can identify with. And I, I love that connection. The thing about me is that I'm very, very sensitive. I've always been very sensitive and I've always been an observer. So I just like look around and I think a lot and um, for me, it's all about emotion. When I see somebody in a certain situation or I just look into their eyes and I have a conversation and I'm like, hi, that's you. Like I, it, there's just, that's it. It's like the human connection and there's nothing in the world that is greater than having that. So I feel like when I make something that I'm very passionate about and I say like, oh, and I look at it and I'm feeling something, then I'm hoping I'm connecting through the work to the viewer and we're connecting through the work. That's the goal. There are many photographers that I love, but the thing for me are painters. Uh, that is the thing like where I go to a museum and I see like Caravaggio and I completely, it's like I wanna cry I'm, and I have like goosebumps and I'm just like, Oh, like I just feel like yes, like that's that's my guy right there.
Yeah, painters that were working with light. I, I love subtlety. So things that are very like delicate, like you're saying something, but you're not explaining it right away. You're saying something in layers where your eyes have to kind of, you know, travel along, but it's very simple. So, you know, a delicate lighting, a dark background, and the focus goes on the subject. Like for me, that's like, oh, I love it.